you've been an overseer for 25 years? I've been an overseer for 30 years. 30 I've years. been the presiding overseer in Sugar House uh, area for 25 years. We do not use the term shunning okay. because of that stereotype. It includes families and, and everything. If you just look up the word shun in the dictionary, the Hatfields shunned the McCoys. Uh, if you don't fellowship with somebody, is that shunning? That's the question I guess I'm asking you. Obviously. Draw the distinction. Yeah. It, it, it is a difference, in your opinion? In a congregational matter, as I stated earlier, disfellowshipping applies to the congregation situation. And I don't think the term shunning is all that appropriate. It, it has a connotation that, and we very said, if you look through all our publications, you'll find very few times that the word's actually used. And generally, it's used in regard to conduct, shun gambling, or shun alcoholism, or shun whatever. That's usually the context. Disfellowship means you don't fellowship. Okay. So if it's a congregational matter. I would like to emphasize it's not a family matter. Now, how, what's the distinction there? Uh, from a congregational matter, an ecclesiastical uh, portion of this, uh, the uh, congregation would be involved with uh, disfellowshipping, uh, no longer fellowshipping with that individual. In a family matter situation, unlike other um, stereotypes of such things as uh, Amish and so forth where shunning is involved, where the whole family is shunned or whatever. Uh, we do not feel, families are families, even after conduct, even after these things, families still remain the focus. So disfellowshipping is from a congregational standpoint, not a family. I don't like you, I don't like you, I don't like you today. I don't like you, I don't like you, just get out of my way. I don't like you, I don't like you.